Henry Kissinger is undoubtedly one of the most renowned and controversial figures in the history of American foreign policy. Before diving deeper into an analysis of his core ideas and legacy, it is essential we first understand some key biographical details and the context in which Kissinger operated. Kissinger was born in 1923 to a Jewish family in Germany, fleeing the Nazis at a young age when his family immigrated to the United States in 1938. After serving in World War II, he returned to complete his education, ultimately obtaining his Ph.D. in international relations from Harvard University. It was at Harvard that he began a prolific career working as an academic author and foreign policy advisor before entering government. Kissinger ascended to prominence during the period of heightened geopolitical tension known as the Cold War between the capitalist, democratic West led by the United States and the communist East led by the Soviet Union. Both superpowers stockpiled massive nuclear arsenals aimed at one another, with the threat of civilization ending war looming. It was in this climate that Kissinger joined the Nixon administration, first in the critical role of national security advisor and then as secretary of state. From these positions, Kissinger is credited with reshaping U.S. foreign policy, applying his particular brand of political realism to manage relations with global competitors. This included pioneering diplomatic overtures towards China and a policy of daytime with the Soviet Union. While supporters praise his role reducing nuclear tensions, critics contend he enabled human rights violations by anti-democratic regimes. As we delve deeper into specific ideas and actions over the course of this lecture, keep in mind the backdrop of the Cold War, which so profoundly shaped Kissinger's worldview. Also reflect on ethical questions surrounding his policy decisions which valued strategic interests over idealism. With historical distance, we can have more informed debate about his enduring impact. Now moving to Kissinger's perspective on realism and in international relations and how it guided his statecraft. The central tenet shaping Henry Kissinger's approach to foreign policy was his staunch belief in a realist worldview regarding relations between nation states. Let's examine more closely what characterized this perspective and how it manifested in Kissinger's thinking. In essence, realism holds that we live in an anarchic international order, lacking any overarching authority. Within this decentralized system, each nation state acts as a rational, self interested agent, seeking to maximize its own power for the sake of security and survival. Core realist assumptions include. International relations is essentially about competition for power rather than ideology or ethics. Nation states jostle for strategic influence relative to competitors. Peace and stability emerge only through a stable balance of power among the major global actors. Any imbalance threatens widespread conflict. This was evidenced historically with conflicts erupting after the breakdown of power balancing mechanisms. Foreign policy principles based on ideals like promoting democracy and human rights worldwide are naive and counterproductive. These undermine stability by forcing change against the national interests of other states. Kissinger firmly aligned with these basic realist precepts during his time in government. He prioritized the maintenance and improvement of American strategic power relative to the Soviet Union and China. For example, Strengthening ties with China created a new counterweight to offset the Soviet Union's expanding influence. Furthermore, while critics argued for a more values-based foreign policy advancing human rights, Kissinger dismissed this as reckless idealism. In his view, the U.S. should deal with the world as it exists and not endanger vital interests by crusading around liberal values against powerful, antagonistic regimes. This stance prompted accusations of an ethical complicity with authoritarian governments. Nonetheless, Kissinger maintained his commitment to core realist principles as evident through both his writings and policy decisions. Henry Kissinger not only wrote extensively about foreign policy theory, but also practiced the art of high-stakes diplomacy and statecraft throughout his government tenure. He placed immense value on diplomatic negotiations as a tool for advancing the national interest. Let's unpack some of his governing principles surrounding diplomacy and how they shaped major policy initiatives. Core elements of Kissinger's diplomatic philosophy include the necessity for secrecy and confidential talks when states are exploring shifts from established policies or existing conflicts. Early discussions over potential breakthroughs often require discretion before public unveiling. 
give and take bargaining, as well as subtle gestures defining the parameters of negotiation. Diplomacy is not about grand public pronouncements, but rather carefully reading counterparts and framing agreements. An intricate, patient process of building relationships between governments is a precursor to pivots in long-standing enmity. Leader-to-leader -leader trust can translate into reduced tensions between nations over time. We can see these principles embodied in Kissinger's execution of two monumental feats of U.S. diplomacy. Opening relations with Communist China and later reaching nuclear arms control pacts under detente with the Soviet Union. In the case of China, Kissinger arranged secret trips in 1971 to begin a bilateral strategic dialogue that ultimately resulted in renewed diplomatic ties under the Nixon administration after over 20 years of no direct contact. This critical outreach was based on confidential back-channel reassurances on issues like Taiwan and recognition of China's growing status. It represented a classic exercise in realist statecraft, shifting the global balance of power against the Soviets. The concept of world order. In addition to specific policy decisions, Henry Kissinger is noted for his academic perspectives on organizing principles and structures, facilitating a stable international system, ideas he synthesized in his writings on the concept of world order. What vision did Kissinger put forth about what constitutes global order between nation-states? Kissinger's analysis of world order is anchored in the following key assumptions. International order requires a set of commonly accepted rules and an agreement on the global distribution of power roles between preeminent nations. This consensus enables cooperation and conflict mediation. These preconditions have only fully existed a few times in history notably the Congress system of 19th century European powers and the early modern era following the Peace of Westphalia Treaty in 1648. Since the end of WE, ideological divisions and imbalanced power dynamics have obstructed consensus on global order. Kissinger views this as highly destabilizing. In terms of his prescriptions, Kissinger generally argues for multilateral forums and collective negotiation mechanisms for resolving disputes rather than unilateral directives by a single hegemonic state. Although the U.S. currently possesses immense power advantages, it should restrain itself, respecting national sovereignty and each state's right to determine its own domestic systems. Forcing or imposing values breeds resentment and disruption. Global norms should evolve through voluntary diffusion over decades, not confrontation. Critics, however, Contend Kissinger violated these very principles through interference in nation's internal governance during his tenure, undermining democracy in places for perceived U.S. interests. Nonetheless, grappling with notions of international order and stability remains essential for crafting durable foreign policy strategies, making Kissinger's writings on this topic seminal, if controversial, works. While Kissinger prided himself on taking a hard-nosed, realist approach to furthering national interests rather than moral ideals, critics have harshly condemned the ethical compromises made under his watch. These controversies raise profound questions. Let's examine some key areas of debate regarding ethics in statecraft by looking at incendiary critiques leveled against his decisions. Specific ethical critiques of Kissinger include sacrificing principles of human rights, democracy promotion, and self-determination in dealing with authoritarian regimes from Latin America to Indonesia. Relations were prioritized irrespective of domestic oppression or coups against elected leaders. The massive, indiscriminate bombing of Cambodia during the Vietnam War, which killed thousands of civilians. Also, supporting a clue in Chile, which brought the brutal dictator Augusto Pinochet to power for decades overall dismissing ethical considerations entirely as a naive distraction from securing vital strategic objectives. This mindset leads down a dangerous path of justifying increasingly immoral policies. Kissinger defends decisions by arguing leaders unavoidably confront painful trade-offs where interests collide with idealism. However, Critics maintain basic rights protections should constitute uncompromising red lines given America's core values. This tension whether ethics can be severed from statecraft raises profound, enduring debates in U.S. foreign policy circles given Kissinger's marquee legacy. While clearly a divisive figure, Henry Kissinger's ideas continue to shape modern schools of thought regarding America's global role. 
elements of his pragmatism and realism have become fixtures for policymakers in recent decades across partisan lines. Yet concurrent debates simmer on whether Kissinger's ideology fits the challenges of our times. Let's examine some dimensions of his lasting impact. Areas where Kissinger's influence remains visible include emphasis on hard power, economic, military, technological, as providing the United States advantage and leverage versus rising competitors like China, concepts of offshore balancing and preventing power vacuums, which could destabilize regions and allow rivals to expand influence, prioritization of strategic national interests even when conflicting with American idealism regarding rights and democracy. However, critics argue for more progressive foreign policies that project values worldwide as a source of lasting national power rather than episodes of amoral maneuvering. Furthermore, in an economically interdependent, digitally connected 21st century, Kissinger's dismissal of greater integration and global consciousness seems increasingly outmoded. As we conclude our examination of Henry Kissinger's far-reaching impact, Let's recap core themes surrounding his ideas and legacy. First, Kissinger embraced an uncompromising realist worldview anchoring his analysis of global affairs. This perspective sees international relations as a competitive power struggle between self-interested nation-states. It discounts ideals as distractions dangerous to national security. Kissinger took these precepts to their logical conclusion during his tenure, elevating U.S strategic dominance over considerations like human rights. Second, Kissinger was a prolific scholar of diplomatic history and applied an extensive toolbox of diplomatic strategies while in office. These included secrecy, subtle gestures, framing negotiations, developing interpersonal leader relationships, and linkage bargaining between multiple disputes for breakthroughs. His breakthroughs with China and the Soviet Union rewritten the art of high-stakes statecraft. Finally, while Kissinger's legacy remains hotly contested, his ideas still supply foundational assumptions for American foreign policymaking establishment. These include concepts like maintaining balance of power, offshore balancing, hard versus soft power differentiation, and interlocking national interests determining partnerships, not just values. Yet new generations continue questioning ethical trade-offs and whether Kissinger's severe realism fits modern challenges. Ultimately, Kissinger's legacy prompts vital debates about philosophies guiding U.S. statecraft. As America navigates this tenuous global landscape, re-examining historical decisions, both ingenious and controversial, enriches perspectives on crafting durable policy for an interconnected 21st century. Statecraft balancing ethics and interests remains an intricate, everlasting challenge at the heart of Kissinger's mixed legacy.